Almost a year ago, I made a comparison video between my Hackintosh and the M1 Max. It was received well by you guys and the Reddit community. Now, it's time for another comparison of the Hackintosh versus the M1 Pro. The Hackintosh is almost two years old with a Core i9 9900K an AMD 5700 XT, and 2TB of Samsung Evo Plus NVMe, and of course, 32GB of RAM. The 16-inch MacBook Pro comes with the M1 Pro, 10-core CPU and 16-core GPU, 32GB of RAM, and a 512GB SSD. In all the tests, the MacBook Pro was plugged into power, and of course, low power mode was disabled. In this big comparison, we will mostly focus on pure performance, so you can make your buying decision based on your needs and your specific workflow. It took me a long time to compile these benchmarks for you guys, so I would really appreciate if you like this video. If you want to see more of this content, please subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Here are the results from 32 benchmarks. So after seeing this result, we start to see a pattern here. Anything related to pure CPU performance is better on the M1 Pro. However, graphic intense programs do better on the Hackintosh. 
Having said that, the results of programming software are a bit weird. I'm not really sure if this is related to some bad optimization, but they are doing better on the Hackintosh. So my conclusion is like this. If you do any kind of software programming and 3D intense work, then go with the Hackintosh. If you are a graphic designer or a video editor, then the M1 Pro is so well optimized for that, especially with its media engine. Keep in mind that I'm using a two years old Hackintosh. If you have one with the newest Intel i9-12900K CPU, for example, with 16 cores, and maybe an AMD 6900 XT, it will completely destroy the M1 Pro, as I have seen from other benchmarks. Subscribe so you can watch that video, since I'm planning to upgrade my Hackintosh very soon. Now, for someone like me that loves to game on the weekends using Windows, the Hackintosh is a perfect compromise for both work and play. When it comes to software updates, we only have a few years left in Hackintoshing. That's the truth, which is tied to the support the Mac Pro will get. So if you want peace of mind and you are not a technical person, you're not into hacking, I don't recommend Hackintoshing. Get yourself a nice MacBook or a Mac Studio. Trust me, you'll be more than happy with it for years to come. I will still make videos about my Hackintosh because first, I love thinking around with fun projects. Plus, I love using multiple OS like Linux, Windows, and Mac. You can watch my Hackintosh versus the M1 by clicking here or in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.